Hey everybody, here we're looking at this HP DV6000 um, got it for service, just doing a reinstall Windows Vista on it and a number of different things. Add some more memory to it and a couple other things like that. And I noticed that this computer, the owner had replaced a battery in it sometime back when with an um, aftermarket one. Now generally, I mean, in my experience, I've had good luck with aftermarket laptop batteries in many cases. One is being with my Dell Instrument 1525. I purchased a replacement battery for it back in let's see, late 2011, and that battery is still working just fine almost three years later. So, anyways, this laptop has a Trent brand battery installed, and I noticed after installing Windows Vista, it was showing, you know, like 13% available. It said plugged in but not charging. So okay, I'll try a different battery. I got another DV6000 over there that is not working at the moment. I might try to see if I can get it working, but anyways. I pulled the aftermarket Rayovac battery out of that one, stuck it in here. That battery was completely dead. And again, it said plugged in, not charging, 0%. So, you know, kind of wondering. It's got the factory HP power adapter, so it's not an issue with that. It's got the correct adapter. There's getting, it's got a good connection here at the plug. Some of these DB6000 are known to have issues with that. <laughs> well, the DB6000s are actually known for a bigger issue with cooling, but that's another topic. Anyways, it kept showing, um, a, you know, X amount available plugged in but not charging. So, when I was dealing drivers for this, I noticed on HP's website, there is a BIOS update available for this computer. Now, here's what it addresses. <clears throat> At least in here, it says a fix or enhancement is, fixes an issue where it messes that to say, you know, says the battery is correct, incorrectly displayed when upgrading the OS to Windows 7. Basically, if you upgrade one of these computers to Windows 7, Windows 7 will say, um, suggest replacing your battery, regardless of whether your battery is bad or not. But it seems like this BIOS update does more than just that. Because I just flashed it to this computer, and now it's charging the battery. It's now at the 14% available. It says plugged in and charging. So definitely, um, if you have an HP DB6000 with, you know, the AMD Turion processor and NVIDIA graphics, and you notice that your battery is not charging. Well, number one, if you got the original battery in the computer, chances are you need to replace it. Because I'm sure the original battery is probably gone by now. HPs and Dells are known to have crappy batteries in their computers. So, replace the battery, and if you notice that it is not accepting a charge, you want to look into this BIOS update. <clears throat> now, make sure you're downloading the correct one. Like, for example, this... This, the exact model of this computer is a Pavilion DV6208NR. So make sure you download the correct BIOS update for your computer and flash it. Then you should be able to charge your battery. But yeah, anyways, I tried a number of different things for flashing this BIOS. I tried starting the computer up without a battery installed and then installing the battery with Windows already up and running. It still didn't want to charge it. Basically, this slide was just flashing you know, indicating there's a problem with the battery, when in fact the battery was just fine. So anyways, you can see it is definitely charging the battery now. And before I wrap up this video, you may have heard me mention there was a bigger issue with these HP DB6000s. I mean, just for example, <clears throat> that one right there is dead, and this one right here is also dead, acting strange. I've had at least three or four dead DB6000s come in for parts and stuff like that. And that's because they have a defective cooling system <clears throat> regarding the NVIDIA Northridge chip and sometimes the NVIDIA GPU discrete processor if it has one. Um, a lot of people are saying take out the little uh, thermal pad and insert a copper shim there. I don't think it's necessarily like that. I think it's more of the cooling fan algorithm and keeping the cooling system f good and clean. I mean, when I got this computer for service, 
it was getting air flow through the cooling vents. Hot air was coming out the back, so it was definitely being cooled properly. And notice, <clears throat> I mean, it still works. It works fine. So anyways, um, if you notice that your DV6000 is not charging its battery, update your bias. So anyways, end the question or comments. Feel free to ask and thanks for watching.